We're going to talk now about IBM partnering with Telefonica for mm-hmm. cloud-native 5G core network platform. And what we're looking at here in this partnership is that Telefonica is going to use IBM's intelligent automation software and services to implement Unica Next, which is the company's first ever cloud-native 5G core network program. And this is all about uh, intending to allow Telefonica, Telefonica the ability to be agile, reliable, and efficient, and be able to provide continuous optimization of its services. What I like about this, and I know you're going to touch on this in a little bit more depth, Ron, is that this partnership will involve IBM's Global Business Services Unit, which is a consultancy and a digital transformation arm of IBM as well as uh, Red Hat and Juniper Networking to deploy this cloud native platform. So let's talk about this, Ron. Let's talk about how this is going to power Telefonica's open, secured, intelligent, and highly automated network. Yeah, now this is an important announcement uh, for uh, two reasons. Uh, One is that the reason why Telefonica selected IBM is uh, for its uh, cloud pack uh, for right. uh, network automation solution, uh, which, as you pointed out, Shelley, is being supplied by IBM Global uh, Services. And that is really shining the spotlight on AI technology right. and why it's essential for, you know, 5G uh, network builds and, uh, well, just that, you know, to be successful in any uh, 5G uh, network deployment. And that is the AI, uh, the AI engine, along with machine learning algorithms, are required for that automation piece. You know, it includes the automation of, in this case, the 5G core, and it requires uh, automation in uh, terms of uh, being able to, uh, you know, do the the network slicing, uh, etc. So I think this is definitely uh, very important. And as you pointed out, uh, IBM is working with its subsidiary Red Hat. Uh, using right. the OpenShift technology as well as Juniper's Abstra technology, which is important for automating uh, data center fabric uh, networking, uh, for example. And uh, I think uh, what's also key here is that, okay, uh, we understand AI is central uh, to advancing uh, not just you know the 5G core uh, network capabilities, but really uh, Telefonica's overall open 5G mission. So uh, this is, you know, important to show that uh, IBM is kind of playing a driver's seat role in this particular combination. And that's the second, uh, I think, uh, important takeaway is that almost all of these announcements are having a very uh, alliance uh, flavored aspect to it. <laughs> Yeah, strategic which is, partnerships. <laughs> exactly. So I, I think it's uh, validating the fact that 5G is very much an ecosystem play that, you Absolutely. know, whether you're talking about open RAN or, you know, uh, open 5G core capabilities, uh, et cetera, X hall capabilities, yeah. all of these are requiring, you know, that multi-vendor implementation that's already been in place. But it's really, I think, broadening uh, the ecosystem options for the operators. And that's good news, you know, for everybody, because that allows the operators to, you know, improve uh, their bargaining position to, you know, pass uh, uh, cost savings on to customers. And again, you know, take advantage of all these 5G capabilities, accelerating service deployments, delivering, you know, real-time network slicing based services, et cetera. So yeah, I think uh, it's definitely uh, important to understand, you know, why AI is so critical to uh, 5G and this announcement really crystallizes that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, exciting times ahead for sure on this one. Um, and it's great to see, you know, I, I, I keep looking. Um, it's great to see what IBM is doing with this global business services unit, which is, you know, a relatively new thing. And, and uh, so it's, it's interesting to watch this evolve as well. 